Bowers and Wilkins and James Bond unites to commemorate the diamond anniversary of 007's first on-screen appearance in 1962's classic Dr. No. Mr. Bond. James Bond. This is the PX8 headphones from Bowers and Wilkins, which is right now their flagship wireless headphone. And in Australia, depending where you buy them from, the regular model can set you back around $1000 and the 007 edition can cost you around $1150 to $1300. The PX8 007 edition is finished in midnight blue napa leather, celebrating the dinner jacket worn by Sean Connery on the Dr. No movie. You also get a silent stepless slider which is made out of aluminium. There is also metal detailing on top of the ear cups and exclusive to this model, you also get a red power slider and the 007 logo on the top of the ear cups. And when you open up the ear cups, which by the way rotates 180 degrees, you will see that each of the ear cup boasts a screen print of the iconic gun barrel design featured at the start of so many incredible Bond movies. But to me, the best thing about these headphones are the napa leather that coats the headbands and the ear cups which makes them super comfortable. The only complaint I have is that the removable ear cups would have been great if they attached via magnets. And on top of that, the PX8 weighs around 320 grams which is a bit heavier than the Sony XM5s but almost 60 grams lighter than the AirPods Max. And when fully contracted, the PX8 generates around 530 grams of clamping force. Now this is great if you take them out for runs or other outdoor activities as you will get a much tighter and secure fit. But if you wear glasses, then your ears might hurt a little bit as the ear cups will press hard against the handles of your glasses. And for the times when you will need to store the PX8, you can put them in this matching blue hard case. Inside you get the 007 logo and a magnetic flap that hides away the cables they come with. It has a very small and slim footprint so you can pack them away in most bags without any problems. In terms of connectivity, the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 connects via the latest Bluetooth 5.2 and supports all the popular codecs including all the aptX codecs. If you have an iPhone, then you need the iPhone 14 to get the Bluetooth 5.2 which will then use the LC3 codec that will give you high quality but low power audio. And the Bluetooth line of sight is a whopping 780 feet. I am not even joking, I don't think I have tested any headphone with that much range before. The headphones also have a 24-bit high resolution digital channel processing or DSP. So you can get high quality 24-bit audio from Tidal, Kubos, etc. if you have their subscription. But if you have Apple Music subscription, then don't worry because you can still make it work. Just connect the PX8 over USB-C with your laptop and enjoy lossless audio that way. You can also connect with analog devices with the 3.5mm cable which is great. Plus they support Google fast pairing and multipoint connectivity between two devices where calls are prioritized. So if a call comes in, it will always come through to the PX8 without any interference. The only thing missing here is that the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 does not come with the airplane jack. On paper, the PX8 should last about 30 hours with ANC on. And during my test, I got around 27 hours with music playing at 70% volume over the AAC codec on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, which I would say is respectable. And while recharging, they take 2 hours to fully recharge from 0% and with a fast charger, you can charge them for 15 minutes to get a 7 hours worth of listening time. But if you run out of battery, then neither the 3.5mm jack nor the USB-C cable can help you to play music as both needs battery power to run. However, with the USB-C cable though, you can play music while charging which is pretty useful. The PX8 also comes with wire sensors which will pause music when removed from the head and can then enter into a low power state after 15 minutes of inactivity to save battery. The PX8 headphones comes with all physical control which I would say is a nice touch from Bowers & Wilkins. I personally prefer them over touch controls as accidental swipes are less likely to occur when you have these physical controls. On the PX8, you have a dedicated button for power, Bluetooth pairing mode and volume control. There is a multifunction button which can take calls and skip tracks forward or backward. The skipping backward means you have to press the button in 3 quick successions which really gave me a hard time as it sometimes worked and sometimes it did not. But maybe for you it could be different or maybe I just need more time to get used to that. 
Anyways, other than that, there is one more button which can be programmed from the app to either toggle between ANC mode or call the phone's voice assistant. Only thing to note here is that the volume and the play pause button will not work when you are using the 3.5mm interface. There is also a LED on the side that can indicate battery status, pairing status and if it is pairing or not, which I think comes in very handy. So in terms of noise cancellation, I think the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 are quite good. Definitely not as good as the Sony XM5 or the Bose QC45, but they are up there. They will drown out most of your morning traffic or the cabin noise of a Boeing 777 very effectively. Although high range bass frequency or sound of a drill from a nearby construction site only gets dampened which can cause watching movies where there is a lot of silence not as pleasant but if you turn on music and up the volume to at least 70% then you will not hear jack so before I bought the PX8 for myself, I did some research online and I have seen some reviewers hating on the PX8 for not being able to provide good ANC. But after trying them out for a couple of days, I think that those verdicts may be a little bit too harsh. I mean, I understand that the Bose and Sony are better, but the PX8 are not like miles away. And the same goes for the transparency or pass-through mode as well. You can have a conversation with someone without taking the headphones off for sure, but it just sounds a bit mechanical and not natural compared to the cheaper AirPods Max. There is a little more noise than I would have liked, but I love the awareness it brings of what's around you very effectively. As soon as I heard the new Metallica song for the first time on the PX8, I realized that this is a headphone that is loud with authoritative bass. If you thought the H95 were a little bit quieter, then this is the headphone for you. They do lack a little bit on the accuracy end like the H95, but still manages to have a great sense of control, definition and separation of all the different layers. Compared to the latest release from Bose, Sennheiser, Sony and even their counterpart, the PX7 S2, you will get a much more better sound on the PX8. You will immediately notice a bigger and wider soundstage and a more open and sharper mid-range than the rest of the headphones. After that, I threw the brass against wake up cover and what I heard got me loving the PX8 even more. They bought out the tiniest details of every instrument with a big impact. The female vocals were very well defined and sounded very tight. The same song on the XM5 will sound very vague. The treble on the other hand were not so crisp, so I had to take out the app and tweak the equalizer a bit to balance the sound. Since I do not have subscription to any 24-bit music streaming services like Tidal, I connected the PX8 to my laptop to take advantage of the 24-bit DSP built inside with Apple's lossless music. As soon as I did that, the volume level went up a notch like I have seen on the Focal Bathys. Though the PX8 are not as loud as the Bathys and neither did they have the head rattling punch in bass, they provided great energy and made every genre that I tried on them sound very very good. Though I have not done a side by side comparison with the H95 and the Focal Bathys yet, but my initial thoughts are that the PX8 are definitely one of the best sounding headphones on the market right now. Testing the microphone of the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 headphones. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. As you just heard on the mic test sample that the PX8 had no issues cancelling out the external noise, but the only problem is they can't focus on my voice properly. There were too many occasions where the ANC was almost too much aggressive to just cancel out my own voice. So I don't think they will be great for taking calls outside or in a busy place. But the situation I was in was very demanding. So when I took them to a quieter place, like in this room, this is what it sounded like. Testing the microphone of the Bowers & Wilkins PX8 headphones. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Mic check, mic check, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. The 007 edition is a gimmick for you to pay extra money. So is it worth it? I guess it can be if you are a fan, but if you are not a fan then the regular model can serve you just as fine. They have identical tech specs and sonically everything is also the same. So now the question is, are the regular model even worth the money? I would say yes, because they do sound absolutely brilliant. 
make no mistake that the PX8 is here to compete with the likes of H95 or Focal Bathys and not the XM5 or QC45 or even the AirPods Max. Although the latter ones have better ANC but they fall way short in the sound quality department. I also like the connectivity options and the design of the headphones. My only complaint would be the call quality but other than that I think they are a solid pair of headphones. In the coming weeks, I will compare them against the likes of H95 and Focal Bathys. So stick around for more content. And if you enjoyed watching this video, then please like, share and subscribe. This is Nafis signing off till next week. Peace.